And welcome back to the match of the century of the two lawyering uh, figures of Phoenix uh, Wright, the Flaming wait, Bird. I'm, I'm, I'm not a lawyer. Also, did I ever, <laughs> did I ever mention to a vet, at least to me, that uh, Dual Destiny's theme that is for your 3DS theme sounds a lot like Charlie's Angels theme? Uh? Not to mention, we would like to, uh, to, 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 to explain to you that per this session of Professor Layton versus his attorney comes to you in Dolby Stereo! In oh. 3D! While, 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 while uh, the game goes out of its way to really say this game's audio has been changed to stereo. Well, it's not like the 3DS has Dolby Surround or anything, so what else would it be? That was quite a thing. Yeah, I think but, we've, already, we've already seen this bit. But yeah, good ear there on the music, Tio. Anyway, let's continue. The Shades. Shades. Shades live outside the realm of those who dwell within Labyrinthian. To them, I am known as the Great Witch. Those that are put to the flames in the witch trials become shades, who live their lives in the woods. That sucks. Yeah. We exist to carry out tasks given to us by our mistress, the Great Witch herself. I am not a witch, nor am I a wandering spirit. Oh, and I and I, and I call actually, the great witch something else that rhymes with witch. I'm actually a street magician. What's the, what on earth? High Inquisitor Dark Law. Do you mean to say that not only are you a witch? But that you're the great witch! Guards, grab her and chuck her in the fire! Unbelievable! The, Lady Darklaw is the great witch? Your Honor, the witness just confessed. Uh, I will? Yeah, yeah grab, grab her and put her in the fire. Grab her and her in the fire. That's right. That's right. Lady Darklaw is Bazella. Oof. I do hope you have not forgotten what we established only moments ago. Is everyone here thick? It is not possible for Miss Darklaw to be Pazella because okay, I said okay, so. Okay, smart guy, present evidence for that. But, but yeah, Inquisitor so Layton, surely the, but Inquisitor Layton, surely the testimony just now proves it. I am afraid that in the heat of such, quote, revelations, you have all misheard the information. Let him explain. Darklaw? 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 This is the extent of what the people of this town will believe. Great. You're all stupid! <laughs> yeah, that pretty much just called her own people stupid right now. I believe the truth will become clear during our cross-examination. Don't you agree, Mr. Wright? Okay. Let's cross-examine. Uh... Defender, you may begin your interrogation. Man, what a shock! A woman who shared the same voice actor with the Great Witch of the Woods turned out to be the Great Witch of the Woods. Hold it! Hold it! Great Witch. Damn, even Jova's hold it, hold it's a bad than the ones in the game. Yes. Well, That's yeah, right they've right been like that throughout the entirety of this playthrough. However, I am not Pazella. The mistress to those who dwell in the Eldritch Woods is dubbed the Great Witch. Wait, there's there's two Great Witches now. <laughs> the Great Witch of Eldritch Woods, not to be confused with the Great Witch Bazala. See, I told you you guys were jumping the gun. Said like, Even if I wanted to be Bazala, I couldn't, as the ever, as the ever so charming Inquisitor stated earlier. Flattery. So, so you can't use can't use magic. not a witch. Then, Miss Darklaw, I have one question. What do you mean by live outside the book? Later, they, they just told you. Remember, Jova, uh, Leighton's a hit with the ladies, so... So is Phoenix, apparently, too. I mean, just that, Inquisitor. We truly do live in a realm separate from this town. Like, the girls of Labyrinthia be, uh, searching for a puzzle solver. Now, surely one as intelligent as yourself has worked out the answer by now. Perhaps. That remains to be seen, Miss Darkle. Seriously. It remains to be seen if you're intelligent, Leighton. <laughs> is that, is that, is that, is that Leighton's way of, runabout way of admitting, maybe I have, maybe I haven't? Who knows? I'm dumb. 
But it is something that the defense should be able to prove. Wow, that's a that's a bit of a throwback, actually. That almost remember, sounds Pedro, like a challenge. Hey Pedro, remember when uh, you called out my uh, take on Dick Layton, Mickey Layton, Dumb, and all that? And that, well, now the game that one of the characters in the game considers Layton Dumb. So there you go. It comes full circle. Right. So why do you continue to be called that? Because it sounds cool. To answer that, I must first discuss the true identity of the Shades. The Shades are actually... There would be the remnants of humanity. Oh, wrong game. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we've already got that bit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Hold it! Hold it! Mm. You know, I actually ping pong between whether or not I actually do want to try and imitate Trevor's hold it's and objections, but I pretty much oh, just settle on Ben Judd's, honestly. Oh no, definitely. Like, um. Oh, I'll, I'll take Sam Regals. Oh, no, no, no. I'm saving my e interpretation of Sam Regals for when we actually get to the, uh, 3DS Ace Attorney games. 3DS Main Ace Attorney games. Yeah. What matter of witchery is this? Why, this girl, uh, Kira the Flower Seller, was cast straight to the flames before our very eyes. Yes, <sighs> we already established that. Hmm. Everyone's been mulling over that for the past mm -hmm. few hours now. That's right, Your Honor. But as you can see, she didn't yeah. die. Oh god, this reminds me of a line from one of the Half-Life expansions. As you can see, you are not dead! You see, I live, bitch. there's actually a trick to the incineration device in the Witch's Court. Uh, a, a trick? I thought you were actually going to yes. quote that meme line from Ice Age 3. Once nah. the verdict has been delivered, the court attendants move the steel cage into position, after which it seals shut. Like that. Then... Cage is dropped down into a pit of fire. Where I proclaim, no, don't, even though I come from a country where capital punishment is what happens at the end of my trials mostly. The bottom of the cage then opens, allowing the witch inside to escape unharmed into an underground passage. If what you're saying is true, Defender, but then. The T rating is worthless! What of this town's witch purging history? What has been the purpose of all this? Our We're all existence is revenge somewhere pointless. outside the town. Uh, judge, judge, this is no time to have an existential crisis. Focus. Oh God. You and the knights have been indeed have indeed been ridding Labyrinthia of witches. However, nary a single life has been taken in the process. Well, aside from that, that aside from that, aside yeah, from that alchemist took guy, society, yeah. he took yeah. his own life. They also against this trial because we're not in the court anymore, so the fire is probably very real. Which so does fill me with some questions, but again, that's for a later point. You cannot truly expect me to believe such a ridiculous notion. Go on, Suroi, that's you. Oh. Your Honor, it's true. Oh, right, Maya, of course. Sir. Take a good hard look. It doesn't get any more alive than this. Finally, the dramatic witch, moment witch. for Maya to reveal her true identity has come. Even and though, now Nick even, is screwed. Even though, even though she already did that when Layton showed up earlier. Cutscene in constant I am May. I am May. Judge. This I am May. My God. Big Latin. Close enough. He's doing his best. <laughs> Well, it's actually Maya Faye, your uh, forgetfulness. Just insult the judge right there. Yep, that's Maya. What the heck are you doing? Everyone's gonna recognize you! Yeah, the beautiful skies were so flawless before. Well, Phoenix, at this point, does it really matter? Yeah, but seeing is believing, Nick. Now they have to believe you. Or this could backfire and damage my, my case. Piece of evidence, sir. Do you see? Are you satisfied? Honestly, Teal. Honestly, Teal. It was only a matter of time until Maya became a literal piece of evidence in a trial. 
All those found guilty in the witch trials lose their names, magic, and memory. But Maya didn't. They are then sent to spend their lives of shades in the Eldritch Woods. She's not a witch, though. Being spending most of her lives living in Labyrinthia Paradise. <laughs> and the mistress of those shades is the Great Witch. As you can see, this girl too has become a shade. It's okay, we don't kill people, we just basically render them vegetable completely subservient. Yeah. I, I have no more words to express my utter disbelief at this situation. Uh, Your, Your Honor, life, you better please. prepare for the rest of the night because this is a kiddie pool compared to what's to come. Yeah. That's enough. Shall we return to the testimony? No. Why do I have the feeling things are going to get a lot worse? Oh god, Phoenix, he knows. How many times, Phoenix, how many times have you done this at this point? It's obvious, I mean, Phoenix, at this point in time. Of bread have you I, think in your the life. Needs I, I think he at this point is going, can I go home now, please? I think, he, I think he does utter that line at a later point. Anyway, these tasks you mention. Yes. I was told to come here and become Bazella. Ah! Hey, Kira, can you come here over the tower and become Bazella? Okay, hey, thanks. thanks. <laughs> Wait just a moment. You need you to put on this wig. Did you just say become Bazella? Bazella is in gods. all of us. Become so. as gods. Become as gods. Why, how absolutely dreadful. Why would anyone be given such a terrible task? <laughs> Where have these shades come from? Actually, did you pay attention? We just imagine They've been that, living so. in your walls. Order! Order! I'm sorry. I don't know why I was given such a task. For the walls. Yeah, for the walls. Uh, because, <laughs> because the second great witch is a bitch. All I can do now is follow the orders I am given. Hmm. Um, what if you were ordered to, uh, you know? Oh, here we go. If I can do that, then I can return. What, what do you mean, you can return? See, Phoenix, she wants to live up above, like Satan in the south. Well, here we go. Kinda. Such is the nature of the Shades. Neither human nor witch. There's an, there's is an existence spent in the shadows. They're actually androids. Oh mm. no! I mean, consider <laughs> how out of it he is. Human. Actually, they're closer to. Let's Great see. Great the Cosmo guys. Uh, come on. Yeah, true. They're closer Aids, to. Aids come yeah. human. Then, upon successfully completing such tasks, or they are focuses in a sense. Here. Plot twist: The Great Witch Bazella is actually a, a false. Mm. That Dick Layton, please stick to your script. They are allowed to return to Labyrinthia as brand new people. You know, yes, honestly, she might as well be a Falsy given how crazy this plot becomes later, but there you go. How could they return as brand new citizens? When we already know who they were. For instance, we all recognize the former flower seller standing before us. Uh, that's you a good question. Mm. Thinking about this. The whole citizen, the whole alteration of memories thing. This is this was probably Hino's idea, considering he reuses this in Megaton Musashi. Huh? Yeah, probably. So I mean, this fair, crossover but, inspired okay, more I'm, than I'm, just I'm, the Great Ace Attorney, I guess. More parallels will become relevant because it's more parallel to an actual movie that exists. Simply baffling. Yes, Judge. Every woman in this room has been a witch at least twice. Yep. The one who gives us all tasks is the Great Witch. Oh, wrong That's character. Actually. <laughs> yes, I was gonna say wrong character. Whoops. <laughs> that would be you, Lady Darklord. Um, I mean, oh, magnificent one. Also, do you think you're being funny by imitating me? I love, oh, I love how she's trying to flatter Darklaw despite the fact that she ousted Darklaw a few hours ago. I, I mean, kind I of read that bit as like you is... know placating sarcasm. Did I do well? Uh, it's like did, did I do well, Lady Darkwa Senpai? Maybe you are right, and she's just being a sarcastic uh, bit to Darkwa. I mean, not like Darkwa like, doesn't literally deserve just it. Put her on blast, like. <laughs> Hold it! Hold it! So 
about these tasks. Can you give us any other examples? Shade's tasks must never be discussed with others, no matter what. My god, it We've is like this. the focus. Huh? We've gone for this. You cannot obstruct justice. I mean, I'll give the Great Witch credit. At least she see. At least she seems to be more specific with the tasks than Falsy were, just giving vague images. Yeah. But Incident. still, the principle is more or less the same. Incidentally, do you perhaps remember when you arrived back in town to carry out your orders? Which, for some reason, involved nearly blowing me and Luke up at some point. Well, not really. My memory is still a little fuzzy. Hey, just like Fang as well. Say, hey, didn't Kira just recently become one of those shade thingies? Mm hmm. Still, I. I failed my task tonight. In that case, down to the flames you go. <laughs> it didn't work the first Wait, time. Wait, so she's getting sent to the flames for failing to kill the storyteller? Something doesn't yes. seem right there. Come to think of it, when Luke and I ran into her, I remember being blown clear across the marketplace. <laughs> and yet I survived. And so did Luke. Well, that's because Luke landed on my back. Phoenix, well, Phoenix, you also survived falling down... Uh... I, yeah, I, fall in the bird game, so. I survived falling down a cliff that was infamous well, for claiming the lives of people. Wise. Oh, right, yeah, yeah that this, hasn't at, happened yet. At this point, I Nick, so happily. At this point, Nick, you basically just have plot armor. You're fine. I mean, he, he did survive swallowing a glass bottle that had arguably poisonous residue yeah, that too. in it. That too. So, so if he can survive those, I mean... Why not this as well while we're at it, you know? Someone shoot him, see if that does anything. Maya, don't you even think about it! I mean, at this point, I don't think anything can kill Phoenix. I'd like to remind you also that on that similar note, Gamshu wanted to to showcase Pearl a real gun. Yeah. To cheer her up, I'm pretty sure Maya would be banned from owning a gun. Because she'd probably shoot Phoenix. Even if not on purpose, it would eventually come down to that. She'd do it for the lols. <laughs> I... I don't. I do not. When a witch becomes a shade, they lose all memory of their past life. I, I just told you this earlier. Do you people listen to me? They lose their memories? But why? Okay, okay, okay. Here's the thing, dwibs. When it comes to cross-examinations, a bit of gameplay story segregation is necessary. See, normally in court, you hear a cross-examination pretty much spoken once, and then essentially it goes through. For the sake of gameplay, we're to assume that this is the first time we're hearing it, but, you know, whenever we're going back to bits, that's like the lawyers I mean, going through the notes or whatnot, I'm, and then they address I mean, that. This is how it's been since the, I mean, this is how it's been since the first game. Pretty much, yeah. Hmm, there are things you haven't seen here. Like really huge machines, this sort that sort of thing. Oh god damn it. I see it. I see it. Well this is the late this is the late and original trilogy uh, uh, universe, so Late and Original yeah. or honestly prequel trilogy, it it, it tracks. But yeah, go on. True, but the, true, but the original trilogy is more known for I'll huge machines. Again, when he becomes relevant, then let's move uh, on. A machine that spits fire? Never have I heard of such a thing. Uh, Judge, you never heard of flamethrowers? Well, uh, oh, well, remember, oh, well, no. we're in, in the case, medieval probably, ages. Probably, probably, probably like the dragon's breath or something. Are you certain yeah. that these machines of which you speak of are not simply magic? Machines! <laughs> you know, now that you mention it, Uh, Dark Lord, are you gonna wake up? No. I don't think any... I don't think anyone from this town can actually see those of us from the forest. Hmm. But you see, she's doing the same thing that, um, that, uh, uh, Von Karma does, which is he closes his eyes as he clenches his, his arm. So. They, they can't see you. 
Could it be something like that robe? The robe of invisibility. Hmm. The John Cena robe. Da, 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 da. <laughs> How could such a thing even be possible without magic? Good question. You were all blind this whole time. Objection! Objection. Miss Darklaw, if I may interrupt for just a moment. I wasn't even speaking. Well, I'm, I'm interrupting anyway. <laughs> He's just that rude. What is it, Inquisitor Layton? The, through your testimony just now, we have all come to understand the process of how one becomes a shade. Very informative. Your point is... However, I was hoping you could perhaps elaborate on one additional point. Okay. What happens when the two oh. shades love each other very much? Oh, sorry. Um, no. Namely, what exactly is the purpose behind the shades? Oh, you uh, you want to have that conversation? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you wish to know our purpose. There are certain other things you must first understand. Should I have gotten the shade encyclopedia? Like there are children in the audience. Yeah, Which makes me wonder, are there like little baby shades with cloaks yes. obscuring them too? <laughs> yes, they're even born with the cloaks and everything. <laughs> Once you've done that, right. the answer should be quite clear. So basically, pay attention class, it's time for Shade 101. Isn't that right, Defender? Uh, See the... This, uh, this is actually taking place in the Bible Black universe. The no. purpose behind the shades. No! I'm with Tio on this one. Rest assured, you will not get the answer from me. As the saying goes, the witch is in your court. Ah, uh, very funny. Ha, 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 ha. Two witches I see before me for the price of one. Oh, the well, lights got out. Sounds like Dark Law's challenging me to figure this out. The witches put the flames out. Challenge accepted. All right, player, help me win this. Who's player? The one. Who are you talking to? <laughs> the one who even you people can't see. Oh fuck! Hold I don't it. exist. Hold it! <laughs> Miss Darklaw, what is the purpose of the shades? Mr. Wright, I asked that question. <laughs> but I'm the defender, so I've got to save the day here. As mistress to the shades, I cannot disclose the purpose of their existence. Remember, Layton, the player oh, is playing as me currently, so yeah, I kind of have that advantage. Since Miss Darklaw is unable to tell us herself, it seems you must rely on evidence instead. So, Jova, are you trying to say that uh, Phoenix has the same relationship with a player that York has? Uh, well, given he's still around, maybe not the exact same, but I, I guess. something I similar. Do believe, I do believe the sage can have something to do with that which exists in this town, but ought not to. God, can you imagine mm. how messed up it would be if Phoenix was like York when it comes to that little aspect? Oh, Zack, what, what sentence should I press now? Who would be his imaginary Mr. friend, Naruhodo? Mr. Wright, are you just, oh, going to repeat, are you just going to repeat in your mind everything I say? Well, Defender, are you prepared to present evidence? Hmm... But, Your Honor, it was I who brought it up. Shut up! Ahem. And then, nah, no. Huh! <laughs> I was born ready, your honor. Hey, uh, maybe I can use that yeah. for the opening in a trial someday. Yes. <laughs> Again, I like to imagine that possibly the teams of the crossover and the new 3DS games were ping-ponging ideas between each other during the making of their respective games. I think well, I know what the you're same getting company, at, Professor. Well, they work... Well, they work in the same company, so that's very much a possibility. <laughs> Defender, please present your evidence. No. Yes, Your Honor. 
Oh, no, well, yes, make up your mind. That was just the feminine oh, part of my brain speaking there. No need to pay mind to that. The purpose of the shades could be to make sure this particular thing exists in Labyrinthia. Your bum. I'm not Me even gonna down. dignify that with a response. Mm. Mm. Gold ore. <laughs> Come on, just gotta flip through the pages, find the right Any one. Any time, Defender. Hold on, this isn't as easy as it looks. Take that! Take that! It is a fairly big book. <laughs> Let's just use the Godor spell because I feel real spiteful about that spell in hindsight. Something that doesn't exist. I have a feeling no one is going to like the answer I'm about to give. And it'll probably end up shaking this town to its core. Yeah, I'm convinced that's just the writers having clairvoyance about that ending. But, I've got to tell them. The truth has to come out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the point where the ship Drop hits the everyone. iceberg. Since I arrived here in Labyrinthia, there's been no shortage of really strange events. Uh, do I have stuck preparing the lifeboats? Ignaz, <laughs> Demir, Godor, Goldor, and now Grand Wyrm. I guess he might not have imagination because he had to use G. Well, let's be worse with the word letter G. The mere command of magic is in itself a crime, is it not? Mm hmm. In this town, Witches are arrested and made to participate in witch trials. They are then sentenced to death by fire. It's a very shitty system. Hmm. Uh -huh. But none of those witches actually died. That supposed death by fire wasn't real. Which means the whole system's a sham. And... Now that we were lied to and drowning is the one that actually works. Magic. It doesn't really exist. What do you say, Defender? The Eldritch Woods apparently contain some rather large machines, unlike anything that exists within Labyrinthia. Machines that emit fire and produce large plumes of smoke. To top it all off, the citizens of Labyrinthia are not able to see said machines. In fact, the core we're in now is a big machine. It's actually a mecha robot. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like nothing more than magic. Yes, that's exactly it, Your Honor. Miss Darklaw. What? Magic doesn't really exist in this town. That's the answer, isn't it? No, game over. <laughs> the miracle never happened. <sighs> Magic okay. does not... What utter nonsense! That, but they didn't learn anything from Vanille. Miracles can happen. You just have to want them hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it seems we have finally arrived at the stunning conclusion: the secret behind Labyrinthia. Oh, if only this were the end point. Oh no, we got it. We got a bit to go. <laughs> Yeah, no. To, to paraphrase Darklaw from earlier, this is just the beginning. What? what? Oh, boy, here we go. What? Because keep in mind, they're... Keep in mind, they're not okay, using well. the pursuit theme, which means we're not near the end. Order! Order! Order, I say! What is the meaning of this? Huh. It means that all the magic you've seen in this town... You were tripping balls, man. Was nothing more than an illusion created and put into motion by the shades. 
Uh, I'm not even gonna begin to ask how Godor even works, that's for a later section, but yeah. The, the witch, we've clearly seen them use magic! Did we? Did we really? Hmm. Let us take a moment to think carefully about the systems employed by the Shades. Systems? What is essential in order for a witch to use magic? Unless it's the like great. Enough. Unless it's the great witch. The witch must possess a Talea Magica, and must say an incantation in order to cast a spell. And the spells able to be cast are determined by the scepter's magic gems. Mm -hmm. So the magic gems are actually just candy. <laughs> they were just big sweets. <laughs> okay, we do know they do possess some kind of property because they had to do the whole water test. So. Now, what what do you think is the purpose of placing such requirements on the use of magic? Maybe this is what happened. This is actually taking place around the same time as uh, season, the final season of uh, Steven Universe, considering the gems. So. Do you mean purpose? Oof. These requirements are not there to allow the user to cast magic. Rather, the reality is that they are to inform the shades of who should be using magic. And to probably make it easier on them, given... Well, if all witches could do all manner of spell, god, imagine the setup needed for that. It is possible that witches were always being closely observed by shades. That's why they donned these robes, to appear hidden until they were needed to create magic. I create life! I can never destroy it. Create! Which is just losing sight bit by bit. Indeed, there are all kinds of spells within this tome. Well, well this generic book I'm holding up, but pretend it's the tome. <laughs> it would be quite troublesome if they were simply allowed to use any spell at will. Yeah, it's it's, it's, like it's weird because always... it's weird because Barnum actually does get an animation specifically for holding the Grand Grimoire, but uh, and so does Wait. and so does Phoenix. Yeah, remember Phoenix. Every time he holds some kind of report or whatever, it is, it's always the exact same white sheet of paper. So the weird thing though is like, well, so. Phoenix at least does have one specific for the Grand Grimoire. It's weird they didn't give Leighton one for that either. Ah, you're well, referring but... production uh, when we got to this point in the, in the game. Given what we know about the ending, yeah, I'm willing to agree with you there. Wait, uh, yes, that's a lit. Wait, of course, the does not going to contain two magic gems. Uh, wait, what book am I holding? <laughs> the script. Oh, oh shit. Um, um, sorry. Um. Then there's the incantation. What would happen if a witch could simply whisper the incantation quietly to herself, or not even say it at all? Okay, here we go, here we go. Here's what actually happened. That book is actually the script, and Dick oh, forgot his lines, yeah. so he's reading. <laughs> he's just reading it. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. <laughs> Maya, we well. spent an entire it. trial proving that you weren't a witch, remember? And now you're talking oh. about how cool it would be to cast magic? <laughs> if the witches didn't give off some kind of signal, then there would be no way for the shades to know when to cast a spell! Nick, would it be a good idea to talk to the court about how I see dead people? Right you are, Mr. Right. Honestly, the I don't know if it would make our case better or worse at this point. The incantations were a way of telling the shades when the witch was ready to use magic. What on earth? Never did I think these requirements could have such a purpose. Now, let's think back to the previous events leading up to today that have involved. Do we really have to profess, sir? Oh yes. yes. Our first encounter with magic was the use of the spell Ignaze a few nights ago. A simple fire spell. A spell like this. A spell la uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no. it only costs five MP. 
was nothing more than a flame spewed from a machine being used by the, the shape. They're holding the detonation looks like we're in a bomb being solved. So wait, what, what happened to those two guys then? They became also shades of. Yep. D d that means Demir. A spell that makes the caster disappear? No doubt about it. It must have been this robe. We'll just assume that the witch in turn doesn't realize that a robe's being cast over her. Next is the incident of yeah, gold. This is even more egregious case, huh? A spell that, quote, transmuted me into a gold statue. While I understand this may sound a bit absurd, I can only surmise... You think? The game does well. ...that the shades created a gold statue in my image in like five seconds, took me and yeah. left it in my place... I will the, 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 the game made a point that this gold was solid, genuine everything. Yeah. we crafted that in a second. Hey, and again! What about Godor? Remember, that's oh, no, a- Phoenix, that's not a justification, by no, the way. No, really. It's no more oh, absurd oh. than anything that's happened this far. We can therefore oh, conclude God. that all of the, quote, magic in that Rivia was created in a similar again, vein. Again, oh, I'm I- I'm sorry, Lego, continue. Tell me, tell me how Godor actually- Yeah, 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 What no. do you say to that, Miss Dark Lord? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, we gotta pause here a bit. Godor is literally a portal spell. The witch is literally moving her arms through the portal, as we saw with Grey Earl. Do we actually replace the wall or something? Um, shut up. <laughs> we'll talk more about it later when it might be in the wake of a part, but I will just say this. One thing I don't like about the fact that magic is fake is that when you get down to it, no! Some of these spells are borderline impossible to do, even with the finest of machines. Godor being the one that pisses me off the most, but again, more for later. Let's just go with the flow for now. It was simply a matter of having each of the shades operate in shifts, in order to watch over each of the witches within the town. What are the shades I... clocking it out? But their victims, too, were made permanent residents of the... Oh, well, 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 there you go, then. There you go. But then... Yeah, those two guys earlier. Rob's and Mark's are... <laughs> those two shady thieves from before were turned into shades? I'm shady. gonna assume that they were dropped through a door or something when that flame they shot up also, around them? They were also made unconscious. A uh, go well. door. <laughs> ah, yes. You mean Rob's and Mug's. Despite their dubious appearance, those two were a couple of my best shades. How nice. Oh, very nice. Yeah, well, 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 they're the best by default. Shady thieves turned into shades. The stuff writes itself. We already made the joke, Phoenix. Stop complimenting the writing, Phoenix. <laughs> I can't believe what I have heard. I'm not sure if he's complimenting the writing more so he's kind of taking the piss out of it. Again, given how this ending goes, it really does feel like they were aware that this was going to be bad. But this was apparently uh, better than what it could have turned out to be. Again, I'll draw more up on this later when we get to the meat of the ending. There's one thing I don't understand. As we've just explained, there's established that there's no possibility of magic being real. But yeah, no, like Teo mentioned. Thing. But yeah, no, like Teo mentioned earlier. You gotta love how they conveniently end their explanations of magic right before Godor comes up. Remember, Jova, uh, uh, in the climax of, uh, 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 like, in stuff like the the, the, the fourth case of Apollo Justice, they kind of do something similar in the writing as well, where they kind of try to, where it does feel like the writers themselves are even kind of admitting that they know what you're about to watch is bad and shit like that. I, so, myself, and presumably also Miss Faye, have no recollection of this gold replacement actually taking place. Yeah, that's the other piece of a puzzle, yeah. like, why there is no memory of things. <laughs> Hey, that's right. The professor got all bling blingy before I could even bat an eye. Bling, bling. bling blingy. Like, oh uh, yeah, so yeah, let's straight explain. Out, straight out, of your ink, yeah. I was gonna sell him on eBay. Someone else tried to do that. We're going to do what? 
Um, Next, um, never I mind. Think... On with your about, lady. How and when was that statue created? Let alone used to replace me. And keep in mind, it was in the, the exact right pose that he was apparently in at the time, too. The same like, goes for Godor. Everything. It's supposed to create a portal between two green colored walls. Perhaps that is exactly why the spell can only work on green walls, Mr. Right. Yeah, sorry, that. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, no, no. Still, it'd be impossible for the Shades to get those portals ready to go. Again, I, the only explanation that I can think of is that they have like a fake wall that has a hole in it. Uh, if you we know, take... like, the police were doing that. Uh... If we take a moment to think, we can see that all of these spells have one strange thing in common. So what you're saying is that the wall was just a projection from the get-go? Potentially. Yes, indeed. Almost as if some time between the start and end of the incident was unaccounted for. Furthermore, any memory I might have had regarding the incident seems to have simply disappeared in the process. Mm hmm. I I've got it, Nick. Oh boy, uh, Maya's is... got an idea. It's just like what happened to Kira. She got absolutely no memory of her life in Labyrinthia before that trial, right? Hmm. Oh. Okay, okay, that's, that's a actually a good point. See, Maya, when you put your mind to it, you can be helpful. Hooray. Did you say that? And I helped. Yes. I do not remember the story you speak of. I am Arik. I'm usually thinking about burgers and ladders. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, when you really think about it. Wait, don't you mean stepladders? Eat your burgers, Maya. Doesn't it seem super weird how the Shades are able to return to town if they complete their tasks? Right, Maya. I mean, the townsfolk are bound to remember some things about them, right? I'm surprised nobody ever made a eat your donuts dash. Uh, uh, ash, sorry, Ash. <laughs> yeah, they should have. Like how Miss Kira here threw a major hissy fit in court and was barbecued for being a witch. Eloquently put, Mr. Wright. She cried like a bit. Hence, we cannot con let's conclude that this entire <laughs> illusion was primarily accomplished through the use of machinery. Simply put, there must have been some way of affecting the memories of all those within the confines of this town. I can tell you... Nano machines? I can tell you, Dribs and Jova, that uh, Megaton Musashi uh, 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 executes this concept much better. Like I said, it seems that Great Ace Attorney was not the only thing influenced by this crossover. You are correct. There is, in fact, a secret that lies within the depths of the Eldritch Woods. There's apparently um, a lot of those! Since this is like, mm -hmm. what, secret number five we're on now? Well, I got something of my own that I have an issue with from, from a bit earlier on onwards. But I'll get One into thing... it. I'll get into it when we get to the next part, because that's when it's really at its height. Something uh, that the, people... the whole town full of dark secrets, that's your typical... Nah, 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 um, my, it's, it's the... We'll get to it when it's, we get to it. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to it later. It is the very thing that connects all of what you've heard tonight. It is the secret of monumental proportion. Again, oh, this boy. is like what, secret number five? And let me guess. It is a secret that cannot be revealed by the mistress of the Eldritch Woods, is that right? Why does everyone think they can make fun of me? Well, both of your- well, if even your subordinates do it, why not? Yes, an excellent deduction, Defender. She said for gritted teeth. An excellent deduction. Witches' souls wander astray within the old witch woods. I can't wait to get going. <laughs> <laughs> Until tonight, I thought this nothing but a mere fairy tale told to children. 
The thing about fairy tales, you best start believing in them, because you're because in one. It has become clear that a seemingly large organization lies within that forest. Oh yeah, I can... The witch's court is the border between this world and the other world. Oh. Yeah. Well, here you are, see Let me introduce you to Fertiles. Here's This is the wizard's companion. It's a book I have. And that means... In this world! Your labyrinthian high inquisitor... He's also defying God. So... Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, Jimmy. While Continue. also being mistress to the shades in the other world. Otherwise known as the Great Witch. Mark II. <laughs> Da, 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 da. May I intervene for just a moment, Mr. Wright? Sure! Night's gonna get crazy anyway. Go right ahead. In all honesty, there is still something that sticks out as a little odd. A little odd? Just a little. Just your, a little. Your hair. Particularly in Miss Darklaw's previous testimony. Did, did you say... The previous testimony? Ah, I'd already pushed that out of my head! No, 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 I said her previous... whatever. There was one vital truth that we managed to take away from that testimony. You know, her previous meal or something, I don't know. You mean that magic does not truly exist in Labyrinthia? Indeed, quite the vital, albeit shocking, truth. You are surprisingly okay with accepting that. However... Uh, it's been a long night, he's just rolling with it. There is one more truth hidden within that same testament. Well, it's the sixth truth now. <laughs> there are many right truths. Now. There's something else in that testimony. Also, oh, go on. I must have checked the court record more times than I can count, but I didn't find a single other contradiction. No. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Wright? When there is no evidence left... Right! Mini died. gameplay I mechanic! We have but one more weapon at our disposal with which to uncover the truth, as this track from Last Spectre will demonstrate. Oh hey! I've got it, Nick! Alright, I got it. Remember in the witch trial, you can cross-examine two witnesses at the same time? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. I completely forgot. It's been a long time since we've actually gotten a trial section in this game. I think this is the second and only other case where you do that. But... No, third, actually. We did that in Golden Court. It's just that Luke shouted objection for Layton because, as far as we knew, Layton was turned to gold at the time. So Luke and Estella that... turned him for us to do the pose. And that contradiction should provide us with a much-needed clue. Huh. I'm not entirely sure where the professor is going with this, but inside that big head of his has to be some good ideas. I believe in his judgment. Besides, if we're going to blow this case wide open, it's gotta be worth a shot. Alright, professor, ready your objection. Very well. We'll now take a closer look at Lady Darklaw's previous testimony. Da -na -na -na. This is it, Miss Darklaw's previous testimony. There is a glaring contradiction between this piece of testimony and the others. Ready yourself, Mr. Wright! Is the court ready for the power of our two objections? <gasps> that one. Objection! Objection! And we, yeah, quick, Mr. Mr. Wright, quick, run to the middle! And now run back! Your Honor, there's obviously a huge discrepancy between these two pieces of testimony! Miss <laughs> Darkwa stated that she is known as the Great Witch. <clears throat> you okay, dude? We just had to run to the middle of the courtroom section to pose yeah, like that. Being Phoenix, he's stopped yeah. Hearing. Miss Darklaw was her venerable mistress, the Great Witch. Oh my. <sighs> Not that, that kind of correct. mistress. Shut she up. was the Great Witch. 
Notes Miss Kira's use of the past tense. Not for nothing, Dark Glove, no. but your minions oh, seem oh, to suggest bad. otherwise. You people are ridiculous. And then Mark Claw's like, I will not everyone talk to me in the past tense. <laughs> past tense? <laughs> It's simple. Miss Darklaw WAS mistress to the shades, kinky as that may sound, or as they also called her, the Great Witch. Therefore, she is no longer the Great Witch. Yeah, apparently she's out of a job. This is a very kinky secret. She... Huh? Uh, I... Maybe I, maybe I was right. This does take place in the Bible Black. That's right, Kira. You never had to listen to her as your I'm boss. Not, I'm not, I'm not listening. It is as you have heard, my lord. And Kira's going like, I Oh resi- shoot, why have I been answering to this woman all this time, then? I resigned. <laughs> I take advantage of your fear. I relinquished my position as the Great Witch in order to fulfill the objective of this task. Oh, well, how well, noble of right. you. <laughs> yes, you were yeah, right. <laughs> she just resigned. <laughs> What would that objective be again? <laughs> that would be the assassination of the storyteller, Your Honor. <gasps> and to blow up this courtroom. Uh, the say, script, she hated it. She um, said, Dark Law, I know your name is Dark Law, like the Dark Age of the Law, but you might want to wait a game before we get to courtrooms being blown up. I can wait. <laughs> oh, God. What's more, you said you were going to summon the fire dragon to do it. Does this mean that we had three, three witches out trying to kill the story tower that night? Now, this task, it wasn't Miss, it wasn't Miss Darklight here that gave it to you, was it? Man, I sure am popular, aren't I? No. I mean, you're literally no, gone. It wasn't. <laughs> so then, the most pressing question is. Who was it that gave you that task? And now, Tio, the <laughs> revelation that you were hoping for. Who told you to come to Labrithia and assassinate the storyteller? It was Patty the Baker. <laughs> Wait, what? What yes, the? Yes, Patty. Patty <laughs> I did no Patty such Patty thing now, I'll have you know, you frickin' wankers. <laughs> <laughs> I. I cannot tell you. Oh. Right, so Darklaw isn't the Great Witch anymore. Which must mean the mastermind behind this entire thing is. The cat. Late, late. You can see the defense is working out as well. I am the Great. I am the assassin. Mr. Wright, you know who really gave Miss Kira her task tonight, do you not? It's funny you mention the cat, Shiroi, because given how the original ending was probably supposed to go, you might have been onto something there. I might as well mention it, but I'll do it at the end of this part. Who did it? Take, Take that! that! Take the cat for the lols, please. The, the storyteller? Yes! Ugh. We're talking about someone with the authority and power to replace the Great Witch. Someone who calls the shots. I can't think of anyone else that meets those criteria, except for the storyteller himself. Preposterous! That would mean... Suicide is a real problem in this town. Apparently! a lot, actually. Exactly, Your Honor. Gray Earl, Bell Duke, and now the storyteller. But the storyteller Remember. gave this final task to Kira himself. Jean Grey also tried to do it. So. Yeah, I was oh, gonna say. Well, Jean that's why I said he was, in short, responsible for his own assassination. That's why I said Grey Earl first, but yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> order, order, order in the court. Oh, um, sorry. But for what purpose? You all right, Your Honor? Why would he plan his own assassination after the long night? It's gonna yeah, get you sounded longer. real angry there. You okay, dude? <laughs> that I cannot say, Your Honor. However... <laughs> like he doesn't know. The final chapter of the story does tell of his inevitable death. He wrote his own death in. I'll only return if you kill me. 
While he assigned this task to Kira himself, it is perfectly natural that he would do so. However, what is not natural... Oh? Oof! Is your behavior tonight, Miss Darklaw? What's unnatural about the High Inquisitor's behavior? You were once the head of all the shades, and yet tonight you tried to interfere with the storyteller's plan. Yeah. You rendered Miss Kira unconscious and locked her away in the belfry of the Bell Tower. Like, you almost prevented the storyteller from being killed. Not cool. That, to me, seems like the activity of someone aiming to put a stop to his plan altogether. I indeed! Lady Darklaw, what would be the reason for such behavior? Let me guess, you can't say anything. I guess I'm so, yeah. you're right. Right! That's what I'm here for. She won't even say that she can't say. I mean, like, I, like, it, it. This, this trial, how of this trial can be summed up with Phoenix asks a question and Darklaw's like... Holds yeah. her breath. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna pass out at this rate with how much she's been holding her breath. This plan was handed down by the storyteller himself, and Miss Darklaw was definitely aiming to put a wrench in it. But why? The loser. Now you see, Dwebs, what happened was that Darklaw was bewitched before the trial began. Oh, There's God. one possible reason I can think of as to why Miss Darklaw had to hide her actions tonight. She was aiming to betray the storyteller! Betray! 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 Betray, betray. betray the storyteller! Yup! How dare you betray God! I agree, Mr. Wright. Fucking Judas. More like the Light Ringer. The storyteller sure. used the Great Witch Bezella to take his own life. Listen, I will fight God or become him. Goodness, instructions you to are carry ambitious. out the plan were given to Who do you think you are, Kratos? <laughs> However, Miss Darklaw planned to intervene and change the scenario at the very last minute. Darklaw is Kratos, now that would be something to see. She planned to do what so happens in the first part of war. by changing the identity of the great witch from Miss Kira to Miss Cantabella. Thus bringing us to our current situation. Miss Cantabella on trial for the murder of her father at the hands of Bezella. It was all orchestrated. You, Miss Darklaw, seem to harbor a rather strong hatred for the storyteller, if I am not mistaken. Yes, that or his daughter! It. It's absolutely horrible. It's the worst script I've ever spread. Yes, he's a garbage father. <laughs> What, is he yeah, also your yeah, father that, or something? In that, in that, yeah, in that too, yeah. Uh, hatred, you say? Yes, I suppose you could call it that. Let me guess, you're his secret hidden daughter, whereas Aspella was the public daughter. Please, uh... I mean, hey, if we're gonna delve in the plot twist, why not? Behold my revenge. And then Dark Claw... Uh, oh, go on. Did, did you say... Revenge? Revenge? Miss Darklaw, will you please tell the court of your plan for revenge, or are you gonna dot 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 us again? And, oh, then, Darklaw, <laughs> and then Darklaw leaped off the cliff. Death would be the escape from her madness. Dot dot dot, if you insist, dot dot dot. Leap Susan. The High Inquisitor, and also the Great Witch. Two different lives. And you, and Long have I donned those two masks, one as Labyrinthia's protector, the other its harbinger of destruction. Oh yeah, I absolutely Check. love this theme. This soundtrack is great. It no, is. No. If, there's one, if there's one thing in this game that cannot, you cannot even hope to, po to point a flaw at is the soundtrack. The again, soundtrack in this game is a masterpiece. Again, when it comes to the Ace Attorney segments, Yasumasa Kitagawa made an amazing debut for this being his first time Definitely. in charge of a soundtrack. 
Oh, definitely. He made a pursuit casting magic, which is my favorite pursuit theme. So, <laughs> uh, like, like, like I said before, to me, this is both the best written OST and the best Phoenix OST all at the same time. Hmm. They do not care enough about me or the or the townspeople to allow us the dignity of deciding our own fate. Oh boy. So she decided to take matters into her own hands. Indeed. What we witnessed tonight. But was the cowardly act of a man looking to take an easy way to end that which he could not properly finish. Oh my <laughs> god, the <laughs> allegories. <laughs> The script was so bad he couldn't finish it. He cared for no one but himself, hence his sudden sham of an ending. There you go. See, I, see, I, to I told you, like, Dark Wolf. His fan fiction sucked. <laughs> yes. Oh, Dark Wolf, you hate that man. Don't even get me started on this Inafune bloke. And for that, oh. I will never forgive him. Like, my, like my favorite, my favorite OTP didn't end up together. How dare you? And I will kill him for that. Do you mean by sham of an ending? Oh, can you imagine Doc over the Twitter account? Oh my yes. god. She That's, would totally uh... try to cancel him. <laughs> Great. Okay. She will <clears throat> she will then be put on trial and judged, thus heralding a period of peace and prosperity for all of Labyrinthia. So cliche. What a cop out. Such is the ending written for this town and its people. Why magic isn't an aesthetic, a fret. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> In case you don't know, Pedro, someone tried to make a point about people should not make mafia style movies because he endorses that. Yes, yeah, seriously. That's a gift from K pop Twitter, you're welcome. Sella's uh, identity. People have way too much free time. As you know. So, so, what you're, oh, hold on, hold hold on. On. so what you're saying is... It's either the Great Witch. Assign the role of the Great Witch to the skill of As we, as we know, then why are you telling us then? Hold on, as recap. We know. But you're saying that was a falsehood, is that correct? I knew Bazella's true identity. Which is not something I could ever forget. Keep in mind, the as you know is more so a problem when it's used for exposition, not necessarily when it's used in the middle of a story to re-establish something. That is why I went to the bell tower and took the accused there. I did it to ensure the true witch foretold in the story was given the judgment she was due. So to take revenge on the storyteller, you decided to drag his poor daughter into this. The, the true witch? You don't mean... Yes, and I speak of no none other than a spell Cantabella. Oh, damn. Yes, but... Yeah, Remember yes. her? That's what... but, but a spell Yeah, hi. Uh, I've been here for a while. Wait, wait, wait. My wait, wait, wait. feet hurt now wait, as well Wait, objection! Miss Darklaw, there is a glaring contradiction in your statement. But well, a, a spell, shouldn't you be happy? You get to finally get your wish of being called the Great Wish and all that. That was never That's really her witch. Yeah. It's supposedly I mean, common. That. Keep in mind, Liv, she was under a spell, like influence and all that. It's more. Uh, there's also more than that. Uh, again, we haven't. We're done. Not done yet. That too, yeah. Magic does not actually exist in this town. It was all one giant illusion created by the shades. Therefore, the Great Witch Bazella cannot exist either. Means this trial is completely moot. Oh, can we go home now? You would think. <laughs> what you're saying, Tail, is that. Oh. <laughs> you fool. Oh no. Defender. You really don't have a clue, do you? Uh, B.S. Uh, I think what I stated was that. basic logic. But, but wait a minute just now. Is the defender not correct? Thank you! If magic does not exist, then it goes without saying that witches do not exist either. Exactly. 
and that would include the Great Witch, would it not? Th that's right! They've been right. lying to us this whole time! Yeah. Dastard. 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 What exactly is Bazilla? <laughs> um, the DNA of our soul? No, no, those are beans, John. Huh? Well, er, she's supposed to be the head of all witches. No, Bazilla is the name of that pastor I had last Bezella night. Bazilla is the friends we've met along the way. <laughs> Allow nice. me to reword the question. The great witch Bazella is the root of all disaster within Ladrithia. So she's not Very a bad. person, but a concept. What specific disaster might she have been the root of? Well, gee, that would I be... I don't blame... Okay, for a player, for a new player, I don't blame them if they were caught, because this was foreshadowed way at the beginning, towards the beginning of the game, when the, they visit the Grand Grim, the Grand Archive. Yeah. But it wasn't really reprised that much afterward. We've been hearing Bazella's name left and right since we got here, but not once has the real Bazella shown you up see, in the room. You see, Mr. Wright, the great witch Bazella is actually K.G. Nafune. Here we Indeed, go. Miss Bazella herself has been virtually absent from the story thus far. But Inquisitor, did she not claim the life of the storyteller tonight? It would appear so, Your Honor. However, there is just one more thing, uh, like ten new things at this point. <laughs> Consider this. Which particular story is every citizen of Labyrinthia most familiar with? Well, that uh, would have to be... Ma Mary Had a Little Lamb? The Legendary Fire, right? I still need rescuing, by the way. Oh god, poor Snowy. Precisely. Any line, Snowy, the professor still needs his window fixed. Surely you're not serious, as the name implies that is but a mere legend. No one knows for certain if it's occurred. Maybe well, that's it. gee, so, I wonder the if the witch. legend is real. Oh god, that would be quite a twist. It's, no, it's, it's Snowy's big revenge plan. So they say, but the reality is, there are still traces of that terrible fire within the town today. The professor's right. We've even seen some of it up close and personal. Yes. Hey, yeah, at the Great Archive. Wait, hold on. Was I with Layton and Luke when that got pointed no, out, though? Oh, no, no, you weren't. <laughs> what did Layton tell you off screen? No, I guess I'm reading the professor's mind now. Okay, granted, technically there has been a scene where Phoenix and Maya went by there, so maybe the story is implying that that's when they've seen it, Don't being citizens. It, uh... Yeah, no, no, they never analyzed it, at least. I don't recall there being an option to analyze it as them, but I guess, as the story does state, we see glimpses of that all around the town, supposedly. All the same, I do feel like it would have done better if the game at least gave you the option, or hell, even required you to analyze that as Phoenix and Maya back at that point. Correct. The entire town of people must have seen it, but they didn't, except for one particular person. What? You! Me? You! You're the Great Witch. No! Please! I, I believe One it. person who saw everything. You know, the sad thing is All I right, can... Nick, get the bill money ready. <sighs> Your money doesn't work around here. I am speaking, of course, of the one responsible for the fire itself. The Great Witch Bazella. Phoenix so... doesn't get paid. All his paychecks get put into Maya's bail fund. That makes way too much sense. Right. Yeah. They're rerouted. What? Oh. Who's this? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Biggie. I remember it. All of it. It all started when I woke up and had spaghetti for breakfast. Espella, what are you saying? 
the gate for breakfast. When I close my eyes, I can picture it so vividly. The awful sight of the flames engulfing everything they touched. Mm. The scorching heat on my skin. The smell of burning cinder all around me. The large plumes of black smoke. The warm tears streaming down my face. I remember it all. Well, crap. What you are recalling now is the moment the Great Witch Bazella destroyed our town. The way you talk about it, it's almost like you were there at the time, Dark Claw. It's just mm. ridiculous. <laughs> well, it appears my role here is finished. I go home now. I leave it in your capable hands, Inquisitor. Wait, I'm just moving. wait, wait, just me? Well, yes, I don't trust Spike. Avoosh! Bye! You're just <laughs> mad because <laughs> I proved sense. you guilty of being the Great yeah, Witch yeah. of the Woods. So, yeah, like loser. Said, to be fair, yeah, like Jobazette, to be fair, yeah, Dark Claw doesn't care much for Phoenix, so this actually makes sense. She's right. These memories. I'll prove that I am Bazella. Yeah, unfortunately, honey, unfortunately, honey, dreams and memories do not constitute as evidence in a trial. So, yeah. sorry. Bazella! The thing is, is that Bazella has been, over the course of the plot, conditioned and shown all this evidence, not to mention the fact that her memories are really signaling her to believe that she is Bazella. Here's my... Right. Remember, if you will, what I said at the beginning of this trial. I'm taking over you, sucker. I mean, um, I came here to prove that Espella Catabella is, in reality, the Great Witch Bazella. Even though we just got done proving that magic doesn't exist. For, for all that's worth at this point, there is still one more thing I wish to present to the court. Oh, fun fact, by the way. Well, actually, no, I'll save that tidbit for later. But yeah, my big issue with this part is that I feel like we should have saved the revelation for magic not existing for a later point to the point where Espella being Bazella isn't a factor, or at least have that be part of proving it. The final yeah. witness to the stand. The, the Joe, final like witness. This climax, G Joe, it's like this climax was put together in a hurry without the <laughs> without being, them being yeah. able to think it through all the way. Here we go. It would appear he has arrived. The final witness. Oh, God. It's God! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I give you this trial's final witness. The storyteller. And the trial should be over. Victims alive and whatnot, but regardless, this is meant to be a cool scene. And just like that, he appeared. The man who died not hours before. And the victim of this very trial, the storyteller himself. Yeah. The professor sure chose one heck of a final witness. Morning is drawing closer and closer. How this trial will end is anyone's guess. And this trial will end. Nathan has gone. Okay, on prepare yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We've tiptoed around it. We have done our best to go light on it. We have avoided tackling it. But, at long last, we arrive to the final chapter of the game. Which, funnily enough, isn't even technically a chapter. Well, it is. Yeah, this is part it's, of a chapter. Like... It's called an epilogue, though the first story, and I'm like, you know, in my experience, usually epilogues aren't incredibly vital parts of a story, but hey, they're being cute with how the prologues the were to start. The big question is, uh, did you like how X-Files ended? Because if so, you're, you're in uh, for a good treat. Which, which, which ending? The classic series. Yeah. Let me put it like yeah. this. 
if magic not being real was essentially the ship hitting the iceberg, the epilogue chapter is the ship goddamn sinking full in tragedy. I can disclose this right now. I could mention even later, potentially, might even you know, elaborate on more. But one thing that you know can can I actually mention now that we know about the fact that magic not existing is this. I am absolutely convinced that at one point in the draft, in a one early draft, um, Dark Claw was supposed to be uh, a shapeshifter, and Eve was her animal form that she was using to spy on this battle. Yep, I think that's, that's true. What I thought too. The similarities are way too close in terms of color assignment and everything, the cat motif for Dark Claw. And uh, the game teases a couple of times in its first time for having not a Dark Claw and Eve in the same room at the same time. And given later so... stuff that we learn about Dark Claw, not to mention the fact that some of the concept art for her shows her kind of dressing up as a cat girl at some points too yeah no again let me put it like this we know for certain that an ending definitely got nixed big time and i'm definitely absolutely certain that one aspect of that ending was that dark Wall was actually eve the cat who was with a spell mm -hmm. through and through like right down to the fact that keep in mind a spell tends to act heavily influenced at times when Eve's around as well. In addition to when Dark Law's there, more or less controlling her. I assume originally in the case of Magic, it was going to be through the gauntlet that she was controlling a spell of. Who knows? Uh, but, but, but that's the thing, wow. though. According to the trial, at this point, Espella might still be Bazella. I... Um. Like, between our initial run of this and this this new one it's been so long that when we started i had to remind myself that no magic doesn't exist and eve is not dark law because like for the, for the longest time i thought like she was just there watching over her as the cat like i don't let me put this away game is weird and i and i do believe that so much was changed because yeah like the trailer is nothing like what we got it's Nothing at all. It's funny you mentioned that trailer, Shiroi, but let me put it like this, audience. What it's you're in for it. is... I feel even calling it a Shyamalan mm -hmm. twist ending doesn't do it justice for how insane it gets. <laughs> I'll just well, put it like a this. Similarity with a Shyamalan product. Huh? Let me put it like this. The yeah, story would have been yeah. way, way better and more simpler if magic had been real. How and why? Yeah. I'm not even going to begin to dissect that now, because if we oh. start doing that, we'll be here for hours. For now, yeah, it, tune in for yeah, the next part. See ya! Yeah.